Hello, my name is Philip Valentino from Sustainable Stratton. And I'm Scott Ainsley from Sustainable Stratton. And today we're putting on a pedal powered cinema uh, for about 100 people in a gorgeous tent. And this is a 1010 uh, Global Work Party event and we're also supporting 350.org. Yeah, this is part of a global day of action um, all over the world. I think there's only two countries in the world which aren't participating. About 6,000 events around the world. They've already kicked off in New Zealand. He's, do you know what? He's bringing it up from Brixton um, on a trailer on his bike. And he's not only bringing the projector and some of the lights, he's bringing tractor inner tubes, which we're going to inflate, and people can sit in them at the front. Do you attach people's bicycles to the machine? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, ideally, um, sort of racer thin tyres and uh, when someone's getting tired they just put their hand up someone else will uh, rig up their bike or jump on that that bike that's already on there and just take over the cycling are you generating the power yeah. Really? we've had to fight to get this event on uh, i'm rachel brown and i'm lavina brown i'm also co-head of the food and growing group thank you very much everybody for coming we uh this is part of a much, much bigger thing that's happening on the globe today. Um... Have you ever wondered where all this stuff we buy comes from and where it goes when we throw it out? It's called the materials economy. But the truth is, it's a system in crisis. And the reason it's a system in crisis is it's a linear system and we live on a finite planet. And you cannot run a linear system on a finite planet indefinitely. It's the government's job to watch out for us, to take care of us. That's their job. Of the 100 largest economies on Earth now, 51 are corporations. And as the corporation has grown in size and power, we've seen a little change in the government where they're a little more concerned in making sure everything's working out for those guys than for us. If everybody consumed at US rates, we would need three to five planets. Do you know what is the food at the top of the food chain with the highest level of many toxic contaminants? Human breast milk. Thank you.